Hi everybody, it's Janet Cruz and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day in the Chicago suburbs in Illinois. I know, used to think that Illinois was really, you know, bleh, but I have cause to change my mind lately. It's beautiful. So I'm out here sitting in the sun, well in the shade because I don't do sun. I'm talking with you because I want to talk about the question that I get asked the most and give you some answers. Um, the answer to that question. So before I tell you what that question is, I want to tell you how this all started. Um, this book, see this cool yellow book? It's called Chazon. I guess it's a Jewish word. It's written by Craig Groeschel, G-R-O-E-S-C-H-E-L. Um, it's a different way to see your life. I read a little bit of this book years and years ago, so many years ago that I didn't even date it, and I only got through the first chapter. And I, um, it was so powerful to me that I stopped, have never gone back, but it changed my life, just that one chapter. And the first chapter talked about writing your epitaph. And I was amazed. I thought, um, what would people say about me, you know, when I die, because it's going to happen? What am I here for? What do I want to do? And it really made me think, um, how do I want to spend my life? And it made me really, I felt like, you know, somebody hit me in the belly. And I want to make a difference. I want to be somebody that, you know, otherwise we're going to die and, you know, oh, she was wonderful. And people grope for nice things to say about you, even though they're thinking, wow, she was a real jerk and not very kind. You know how people are so nice at the, at the funerals and you wonder, is that really real? Well, I would like it to be real. So this book really got me thinking. Um, even the first chapter is worth buying or checking out from the library. So I've re re um, re I want to tell you to read this book if you are really interested in changing your life. And not necessarily changing your life like people use that word or that phrase like, oh, my life is terrible, I need to change my life. No, I mean, make your life better. Make it so that you are happy with how you are living. So um, this is going to lead to my story, which is going to lead to what I want to talk about because it's all part of a piece. And I hope that um, you are going to enjoy this and will respond. Hit the like button, hit the the heart button and write whatever you're thinking. Um, I will confess, I'm not holding the camera. Somebody else is holding the camera, so I can't address your questions right now, but I will come back to it and, um, and address them individually later on. So I wanna let you know that. Um, I wanna make a difference. I, I really thought, what do I like to do? And I like to dance. Uh, that has always been really something that's really pulled at me ever since I can remember. And I learned to line dance and country couples dance back in the late 90s and um, very quickly as I learned people were asking me to show them how to do it and so as you know I am a teacher now I am Janet of dancewithjanet.com and I teach all over the Chicagoland area in person we've got DVDs um, got online lessons got all kinds of stuff all kinds of lessons and by God's grace I have been privileged to teach tens of thousands of people I'm really sure as I was counting my numbers that we're in the tens of thousands not just thousands so that's pretty cool and as people have run into me um, especially on Facebook you know we've got um, tens of thousands of followers on Facebook too and have been again blessed to be able to reach a lot of people all over the world not just America not just Illinois but all over the United States all over the world we've got requests and and information from other continents um, people commenting and, and getting DVDs and such from all over um, dance is a universal thing we're not all ballet dancers you know we're not all you know <laughs> fabulous but we all love music music is the universal language and we all move to music and I always used to think if someone could tell me how to move then I could move and um, line dancing is that it is that it is telling you how to move and it is for the normal person in social dance social world not competitive um, not professional where this is not Broadway stuff this is just normal people I'm just a normal person you know I like to dance I like to move to music and I've been able to do that and show other people how to do that. However, um, even though the Chicagoland area has got a lot of places to dance, other people are not so fortunate. And I do get people ordering DVDs and then as they go through the lessons I hear, I really wish I could do this by me. Now where do I dance? And that is the question that I hear more than any other thing. Any, any other question, where can I dance? How can this be part of my life? You are established in Chicago, and that's wonderful, but here I am in Podunk, USA, of you know, a town of a couple hundred people, and there's nowhere to dance, so how can I be a part of that world? And I'm here to tell you that there is an answer to your question. If you like to dance, and if you would like to dance somewhere, the answer to that question might be staring you in the mirror. It might be you who could start a place to dance for all the other people 
who aren't connected to me, aren't connected to anybody else in the dance community, and you can bring that, that joy of dancing to their lives. And what I can do is help you and show you how. This was a dream of mine that just kind of came over time. And, and I thought, boy, it would really be neat to start other groups and share this dancing thing that we do in Chicago with other people all over the place. How in the world could that happen? And it just is happening. It, it's, it's just happening. So um, I, I've developed a, a program. It's an eight-week course. And I'm offering it again. We're starting up again on July 10th. I'm offering it from 8.30 to 10 on Monday nights. Now this is something that you can do with me in person, even if you can't be in person, like right here, because of the power of technology. You know, we can, we can virtualize you in, honey, and you can be there on the other end of your phone, on the other end of your computer, and you just, you know, it's a live webinar, you've seen those things before, you can be right there, even if you're not right there. And if you would like to do this in person, I'm doing a two-day event. The first one I'm going to do is July 15th and 16th. Now that's coming up it's within the next month. It's a Saturday and Sunday. And I don't even know where we're going to be exactly yet. But all I can guarantee you is it's going to be two days. All this information crunched and into, um, it's 12 hours solid of information. And I'm going to do it in a 14-hour chunk. You know, we'll have, what, eight hours the first day, six the next, and we'll have an hour break each time. And I'll talk as fast as I can. Um, don't freak out about not being able to write it all down because you'll get recorded videos of everything and you'll get a manual so you'll have something to go back to because I can talk really, really fast. I was you know, born and raised in the Chicago area, so just don't even try writing down everything I say. However, when you got this much material to go through in that short amount of time, you gotta talk fast. So I have um, done a prototype group on this. The whole thing started because I was getting more people asking to take for classes from me than I could possibly fill. And you know, they're calling me because they know the quality. I know how to teach. I've been blessed. This is something I can do. I can't do a lot. Let me tell you and ask anybody who knows me and they'll vouch for me. I got like a list of faults and things I cannot do 10 miles long, but I can teach. <laughs> I can explain how to dance. And so I want to share that with you. And um, we are coming up on another class session so that's why I'm doing this video just to tell you a little bit about that so that you know okay the website address to go to to find out more information and pricing and how all that is in payments if you like that's all on the top of this feed right here in this video at the top where the description is okay, it's dancewithjanet.com slash instructor but I want to tell you what we're going over because it is worth telling you because there's a lot here a lot here and yes there's so much here I have notes because I don't have this memorized so I've got 11 different separate lectures in eight different class periods or um, the, the two-day thing that we're going to do, okay? And that is, here we go, okay? Lesson one, we're going to talk about people psychology, how I look at people and what I see in people and what people are looking for that draws them to the dancing world. There's a lot of order in line dance and people generally like things in order and they like to be told, here's what you're going to do. and and. And just come on it's okay let's do this we can do this and then it's attainable it's not something that's so out there I mean I could never be a ballerina you could tell me what to do all day it's not gonna do any good but this stuff that we do in line dancing you don't need a partner you just need to be shown you need somebody to hold your hand and so I will show you how people think and how to do that lesson two I'm going to talk about creating the dance with Janet community there are a lot of other instructors out there in the world and they are fabulous I've studied under quite a few of them and I would not be who I am without their influence and and they're just fantastic and lots of them um, teach in different than the convention circuits and they teach the dances that they choreograph I've met some of them personally and it's really an honor and I have created with the help of my unbelievable team and the Lord let me tell you um, a community made up of fabulous people and and you're one of them you know whether we have met already or not you're one of them because community is about sharing something that we all like to do and doing something together being part of it building the friendships around a common interest you see that all the time if you're in a golf club you become friends with the people you're golfing with you're in a bowling league you become friends with those people you want to dance you have a common interest same thing so the people that are make up this dance with Janet community do dance with other instructors they do go to other places but when they're with me it's a specific community when they're with other people it's a community unto them so what have I done that is different than anybody else I teach full-time now and I don't teach in a studio I go all over the Chicagoland area 
and I've met different people in different areas, taught in lots of different locations. And that's something that, to my knowledge, no one else does. How did I do it? I mean, it was obviously, you know, divine inspiration. I spent a lot of time on my knees asking for guidance, and God heard me and answered my prayers, and thank you very much. I'm really glad. Um, but I want to share that with you because there is a method to this. It's not just random, oh, you know, I got up in the morning and had a class and went to class. So there's something to it. So that's what we talk about in Lesson 2. Lesson 3 and 4 is a two-part lecture series talking about the mechanics of teaching. Um, I did go to teacher school, I'm just going to call it that loosely, for most of 2006 and was trained by a gentleman who had um, owned a couple of Fred Astaire studios and another couple of instructors that they brought along, he brought along to, to teach us. And um, we spent quite a bit of time learning how to teach. So this is not just, oh, I picked up some line dances on the floor and I think I'm going to teach them to people, which a lot of teachers are that way and that can work. I'm not saying it can't, I'm just saying that I do it differently. And um, I'm going to share with you how I do that. And that takes a while to communicate. So that is a two-part lesson in the mechanics of teaching. Um, lesson five, we're going to talk about gigs, which is what I call places that you would go on a one-time shot generally. Say there's a wedding and somebody wants something to be done at their reception. You know, what do we do? Um, can someone lead line dancing? Can you teach my family some easy line dances? So they will call and they'll ask me to do that. How does that work? How does that work? So um, that can be done at weddings, that can be done at birthday parties, at graduations, at children's birthday parties, all kinds of things. I've done it inside, outside, upside down, you name it. Um, and there's a method to that too. So I have spent a lot of time figuring this out on my own. And why figure it out on your own again? You know, why reinvent the wheel? I'm gonna show you how it's done and what the deal is. And of course, this is all interactive. I do best when I'm talking to people and then I say, so what, what's go how's it going? What's going on in your brain? What's happening? And you know, talk to me when we're doing this. This is very interactive and I think um, everyone who's had any kind of contact with me will vouch for that. Uh, lesson six, we talk about the basic dance steps. There are, um, I'd say in the, when you're first starting dancing, there's a couple of dozen main steps or sets of steps that are put together in different combinations to make up different line dances. Now, that's just to get started. There's an infinite number of steps, an infinite number of songs, infinite number of dance moves. When you're starting and when you're getting other people started, this is how we start. You always start at the beginning, just like in the Do-Re-Mi stuff, right? You're gonna take the main steps, learn them, learn how to communicate those to people. You don't wanna just say, step to the right. Okay, step to the right, how far? How many beats? Am I turning? What degree of turn? Where am I gonna end up? How long does that take in the song to do that? All those things need to be specifically communicated and there's good words to use when you do that. So I'm gonna show you what those words are and tell you how to do that and that will help. And that will help your people too. And even though you might not know who those people are, they're there and they're waiting for you. Lesson seven kind of builds on lesson six. Um, the basic dance steps are six, triples and turns are seven, and that's talking about triple steps, different kinds of triple steps, again, how to communicate that, and then turns, basic turns, how to communicate those and all that jazz. Lesson eight, I'm gonna talk about learning and choosing dances. I've got about, I'd say, um, between three and 400 dances that I've taught um, that are um, listed on my website, I've done videos on, and those are available um, by uh, a yearly subscription. That's on my website. You can go to dancewithjanet.com slash products to hear and find out more about that. Um, some of them have not really stuck. There's, it's just impossible to have that many dances at your fingertips. So I'll present a dance and, and sometimes I'm thinking, this is a winner, people are gonna love this, and it dies. Or vice versa, I think this is just a waste of my time learning this because no one's gonna like it. And poof, they ask for it nonstop. We're dancing it all the time. So there's, I've learned a method um, to guess better. So I'm not totally infallible, but I do guess better now in terms of choosing dancers. And I'm gonna show you also how to learn them from a piece of paper because the dancers are all written down on step sheets by the choreographers, which is wonderfully helpful. And um, some people can see that and, and decipher that easily and others can't. Uh, most people who learn how to dance learn visually. Someone is in front of them, talking to them, showing them how to do it. Some people look at a piece of paper and can read it and decipher it and do it from a piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to do both uh, because as an instructor you need to learn how to do, uh, how to read a step sheet and implement it and understand it. So that is lesson eight. Lesson nine, I'm going to talk about hosting dances. It's a really um, important thing to have places where people can dance what they learn. 
very important. And you can do this at various locations. Um, I've done it at bars. I've done it where I've been hired in. I've done it where I've um, done the, the, the gig, I guess you could say, the, the location, uh, the locale on my own in terms of where we host dances. So a lot of times, most of the places that we host dances now are at the VFWs and American Legions, and I've decided to do that because A, the rent is reasonable, and B, it helps the veterans. And I really believe in helping the veterans because, you know, we wouldn't be able to do any of this had not the veterans done what they've done to secure our freedom. So God bless them, and God bless America. And that's just my way of doing something to express my support for that. So there is of course, a method to all that too that I've discovered and documented and I will share with you. So that is that lesson. Lesson 10, I'm gonna talk about marketing. How do you get gigs? How do you get places to teach? How do you get the word out to people? Um, there's social marketing, social, social media marketing, obviously. There's also lots of different other ones. So there's all kinds of stuff under that big, huge umbrella that we're gonna talk about. And so you know how to do this. Okay, lesson 11 is the last one. We're going to talk about just being an entrepreneur because this is definitely not working for somebody else. This is working for yourself. And most of us have been really geared toward working a job. You know, you go to college, you learn a, a, whatever you learn, and then you go work for somebody, punch a clock, and collect a paycheck. And that does work. It does work. But there's some people like me that it doesn't work super, super well with. And I seem to work a little bit better having my own schedule and being able to call the shots um, which is why I can sit here in the middle of the afternoon and I'm on a beautiful sunny day and talk with you instead of being um, stuck in a cubicle working over a desk, which um, I did put my time in doing. So there's a whole new world thinking about that and what that entails. And I have done um, the first 11, um, 10 lectures already. We've got one more, so I've got one more lesson coming up of our prototype group. And uh, we'll be talking about that this coming Monday as I wrap up the first session of this instructor training. Every week I open it up for a question and answer and I might even do a bonus session on having other question and answers and that's definitely something that you can do all the time. So as you can see, there's a tremendous amount of information that I'm here to give you and it does take a lot of time to share with you. So hence um, a, long <laughs> a long video to explain it and a long class time to share it because this isn't just, you know, go be a dance instructor. It, it, there's a lot to it. Um, however, what it is not, this is not studio instruction where you're gonna be a certified studio teacher learning specific patterns, the gold, silver, the bronze pattern. This is not teaching you for competition so that you will be a competitive dancer. There are people there here in the Chicagoland area and everywhere teaching that sort of thing and they are incredibly talented at it. So I encourage you to go to them if that's what you're looking for. But if what you're looking for is the chance to dance socially to music you love, meet new people, share it with other people, grow yourself as a person, if you're looking for something else, something to do, that is gonna make a difference in people's lives. Because guess what, when you leave dancing and you teach people how to dance, you touch people's lives. And you make friendships that will last forever. And you have an incredible network that all of a sudden just exists because you took a dance class together and you're both standing there going, oh, this is so embarrassing, I don't know what I'm doing. And yet, you face your fears together and it's safe in that zone. I always call that zone, you know, this is the cone of silence in this classroom. This is a safe zone, you can be who you are and share your frustrations if you're thinking, I can't get this, this is impossible. Jan, do it again, I don't get it. So that's a place where you make friends because you are learning something together and sharing experiences. It is a really, really cool thing to teach people how to dance. I would love to show you how to teach people how to dance. I would love to teach you how to be a line dance instructor. I do teach couples as well. My main primary focus right now is line dancing. So this works with um, Couples Country, which is also um, a division of the, the dancing that I teach. However, right now my focus is line. So um, that is a real thing that is popular nowadays because everybody can do it. You don't need a partner. And again, it's a pattern of steps that you do over and over again and someone tells you what it is. So you have to be taught a line dance. You don't wake up one day and know it. So if you are looking for this, I can definitely help you. I would love to help you. I would love to spend time with you. Um, love to meet you um, virtually in person. I've got classes coming up that are starting July 10th on Monday evenings from 8.30 to 10. Those are eight weeks of classes. You can do those in person with me or virtually. I'm also doing a two-day event July 15th and 16th, which is a Saturday and a Sunday, and that's all day Saturday and most of the day Sunday. I will provide lunch for you. 
Um, I will provide support outside of the class that you're taking with me so that um, you're getting video coaching calls included with this package um, or in um, in-person line dance classes um, at my as my gift to you so I want this to be something that is going to be very helpful to you and I know it is um, you've probably seen some of the videos that have gone up where I've been talking to some of the gals who've been in this program and asked them what's your opinion how's this going is, was it worth it what'd you learn blah 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 and they've been very open and upfront with that um, with me about that so those are already a couple of those are already on the page and a couple more are still to come so if this is something you're looking for please contact me hit that button on your computer and go to that page and, and uh, hit the contact button if you have any more questions put your questions or comments in this video and I will answer them personally um, if you, this is if, if you love to dance or you think you would love to dance and you would like to do this in your town this is something you can do and I can show you how to do it but there is a method to it it's not something that's just gonna happen poof it's a lot of information I will walk you through it and I will be there for you so I hope to meet you in person um, on the phone, um, through the computer lines, you know how technology is. You can feel like you're best friends with somebody and haven't seen them or even met them in person just because of how wonderful technology is. So um, one way or another, I will see you on the dance floor. Thanks for your time.